Uh, hello friends, today in this tutorial I will be showing you an online code editor which is jsfiddle.net So if you go to Google and type here, uh, let's suppose I type here Google If I go to this website and you type here jsfiddle So this is the name of the editor So this is actually a code playground It is an online IDE service So the address is jsfiddle.net so here you can write your own code specifically it is designed for HTML, CSS and JavaScript and many other technologies come in so you can see that you can start with a boilerplate code as well so you can see that you can select jQuery so if you select jQuery it will be giving you the boilerplate code of jQuery that is required to run it here you can write your HTML code. Let's suppose I have h1 tag. Inside this, I can write uh, hello world. And uh, inside this screen, you can have the run option. In order to run your code, you can see that it has this heading hello world. You can even have a paragraph element. This is it paragraph again run it like this you can apply some CSS also by writing like this background color change to here black and the color to white So now you, it will apply the CSS styles as you type it and you can even have your own JavaScript inside this alert box. So if I run this, you will have this alert box. So all in all, it is just a code pl playground where you can write HTML, CSS and JavaScript code at the same time. And here on the right hand side of the screen, you will see your result. So as I was talking about you can have some boilerplate code so this is a jquery so it's a javascript library so it is a very simple example that it has shown to you you can just change the color of this alert box by clicking these buttons so this is just a boilerplate code here you can just manipulate this example and create your own code so Similarly, you can have some more boilerplate such as view.js react Let me just select here react here. So if you select react here, it will be having this boilerplate to do app of react.js So if you click the run option, it will run your react app So on the right hand side you will see your result and lastly if you want to save your code you can even save your code so there is an option just after the run option you will have your save option as well so in order to save your code so this is a save option you can see that but in order to save the code you first of all need to register on the website so the registration uh, option is pretty simple you can click on the sign in option and here you can just click in on sign up create a unique username email address and password and create the account and then sign in and then you can just save your own code in the cloud so so if you want to save the code you can just click the save option so this will save your code so that's it so this was a short little video that i have shown you that how to write code online so this is an online text editor